Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another food related slash diet related slash workout related slash health related video. Um, I realized I haven't done one in a while. Um, I think the last thing I've done that had anything food related was a what I eat in a day which was months ago back in like lockdown season one and now we're in lockdown season two. So for this video, we're going to be doing intermittent fasting. So I've done intermittent fasting before, but never not quite like this. So I kind of have like days on and days off and kind of never really committed to it. This week's challenge, I'm going to be doing the 16, no, the 18 6th fast. So that means you fast for 18 hours and you eat within a 6 hour window. Um, along with this, I'm going to be doing my regular kind of diet and exercise or try my best to diet and exercise. Um... By that I mean eat healthy as possible as I can. I'm gonna have days where I'm gonna fast, but I'm gonna eat like shit. I'm gonna eat like ramen with cheese, or I'm gonna have days where I eat like a salmon salad. It's kind of I'll eat whatever I want, whenever I want. I kind of eat intuitively, but within the intermittent fasting rule book. So I want to do this um, within a week to see if I have any kind of body differences and see if I lose any weight see if I um, lose any inches or centimeters off my body. I'm going to be doing kind of working. I'm going to be working out as well, but I'm going to be doing a lot of home workouts. So some Chloe Ting videos. I'm going to be walking a lot. I'm going to be jump roping. I'm just going to do whatever it best to keep, keep fit. Mostly because like that's what I like to do um, to make sure I don't go fucking crazy in the house. Um... But yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how intermittent fasting works on my body, be sure to continue on to this vlog. So I'm going to start off with what my beginning measurements look like. Um, so this is how my body looks like. Okay, so as you can see, this is how my stomach is looking. It's actually not too bad. I'm not too bloated. I think this is because I've been working out and eating right the last few months um post lockdown i've been gymming quite a lot and i've been i've not been eating amazing but i haven't been eating terrible as well i have days where i completely binge and days where i completely like eat well so now i'm just going to go into my measurements and my weight starting weight was 63.7 which was actually a surprise but whoop de doo and this is how my body looks like. My waist is at 76 centimeters. My hips is 96 centimeters. And um, yeah, I actually don't feel bad about this. Um, my butt is 95 centimeters. And my right arm and left arm is 27 centimeters and 25 centimeters. And I forgot to add this in, but my thighs on both sides are both 60 centimeters each. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot to put that in there. But yeah. <laughs> Good morning. So it is currently Monday and it is nine o'clock and I have class like all day today, online class from 10 a.m. to like three, uh, not fun. And my fast start today. So yesterday you guys saw like how my body kind of looks like and all the measurements and today is the official fast. Now I want to bring up to you guys that I have actually been kind of fasting before, kind of doing the 8 hour fast. And slowly, slowly I've been cutting, um, been narrow, cutting things out and narrowing my window frame for um, the time frame for what I eat just so that today and the rest of the week can be really easy to do this 18 6 fast um this is a good way for you to kind of get your body ready for intermittent fasting is to slowly slowly narrow down the time frame of when you are able to eat and yeah let's get up let's make some water let's drink some water let's make some coffee change and time to get ready um I'll have classes all day so it's not gonna be really really interesting today and um, I'll probably take you guys to my first meal of when I broke my fast, and then I will, um, bring you guys with me when it's time to work out. I also have to do some errands today. I need to ship off a dress that I sold on Depop. By the way, if you guys want my Depop, links down below, and yeah, let's go. Morning. Hello. This 
chooses to be in her bed. There's my study area and there's Zippy right here just chilling. Hi Zippy! Zippy! She's busy. Yeah, I'm just looking through things on my blackboard, which is basically like a system we use where people post online classes and discussions and stuff like that and updates. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do, so I probably won't clock in until it was time to eat my first meal. So, see you guys then. Hello. So, it is currently 105. I've just finished some classes and done a few assignments, just work on a few things. And pretty much, it is time for lunch. I'm ending my fast at around 1.30. So, I'm going to head down and make some food and just break my freaking fast. Um... The verdict so far is that I actually, I feel fine, but I am also a little bit hungry. You kind of like have that, you're not insanely hungry, but you generally have that sense of hunger in the morning. And you can't eat because you're still fasting. Um, I'm kind of expecting that feeling to sort of taper off as I get more into it. It's kind of expected when you throw yourself really heavily into a intense thing like intermittent fasting especially since it's something that i've never done before well i have done intermittent fasting but never quite like this where i do where i fast for 18 hours and only eat within a six hour window so it was kind of expected that i'll be hungry on the first day and it, after all the first day of the fast but i expect this to get a little bit easier as i move on hopefully if not this isn't really sustainable for anybody and I don't know, maybe it's just not for me. Intermittent fasting might work for a lot of people. It might not work for me. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's just go downstairs and make some food because uh, all I can think about right now is some food. Okay, so for lunch, I decided on some mushroom soup and a wrap sandwich. So we're going in with some Ferris premium white wraps. Very healthy, I know. Health goddess, we know that. Some cheese because, bruh, why not? And, of course, um, we're going to go in with some deli meat, of course, you know, because I love that ham, unfortunately. And, you know, we got some salami up in this bitch, you know, we got to have some salami because I'm a deli meat queen. And this is how your plate be looking, though. This is how your plate be looking. And we got to add some health to this because we care about our health, you know. Look at that green against that army of meat. <laughs> Last but not least, some rotisserie chicken for flavor, but since I'm lazy, this is go not going to be really healthy. <laughs> I put it in this mini oven and kind of grill it for like 10 minutes, and yeah, you're done. That's pretty much it. Like, there's not much to this. <laughs> mm. And I forgot to mention, but I also ate this fried, I don't know, carrot cake. It's like a Chinese, it's called lobak. And I don't know how to describe it other than call it carrot cake. And it's, you know, bomb. Um, thanks, mom. My mom made it. Literally, what the fuck. So, for t so it is currently 2 and I have class in literally... A minute like i have class at 2 it's 159 so i hope you guys appreciate my dedication to this content so i know that wasn't a super healthy lunch but honestly like i um my fast breaks at 1 30 and i had class at like 2 so i just needed something like super quick and easy to just put together and eat that being said um everything kind of comes under around about 600 calories um that's how much the soup and the wrap was all together um yeah so 600 calories um to break my fast with so i am still kind of like a little a little bit hungry but my class is starting and i need to go and i made myself like a green tea matcha tea with some almond milk and brown sugar and a mandarin and two with Hickers almond gold chocolate because I was just kind of craving some 
something chocolatey. And honestly, that's the point of this whole diet um, slash intermittent fast. It's not necessarily to restrict what I'm eating, but just kind of intuitively eat. So maybe tomorrow I might do a salad. I'll probably do a salad tomorrow. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to be... I don't want to approach any diet with like a fear of certain foods like I'm not gonna have a carb I'm not gonna have sugar I'm not gonna have because what's the point in that where's the fun in that there's not a sustainable way of living because you go through periods of cutting and binging cutting and binging which is why um um I let myself have chocolate and cheese and bread and <laughs> deli meat because it is what fits my schedule but I am trying this intermittent fasting thing to see if I actually lose a significant amount of weight while I'm in lockdown might as well get our summer body now be the best version of ourselves today so that being said I have to head off now my class is starting I'm a minute late and um I'll see you guys when it's time for dinner most likely or when it's time to work out most likely when it's time to work out and yeah Okay, so I just came back from my walk slash run, and now I'm about to do a few Chloe Ting videos. So I am on um, doing the hourglass um, challenge right now at the moment. So I'm on day. Where am I? Sorry. I'm on day 16, basically, and it's basically like a 35 minute workout video. So I'm gonna do just that, and then I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I just finished working out, so I went for my walk slash run, I did some Chloe Ting videos, and now it's time for dinner. So for dinner, it's basically just some rice, and this thing my mom making called Yang Tao Fu. <laughs> okay, so that was dinner, ignore the mess, but um, yeah, that roughly comes up to 500-ish calories. So all, and then I had, well, my parents ordered McFlurry, so I had a bite or two of that. So all together, it roughly totals up to 1,500 calories for today. I'm pretty full, I'm pretty satisfied. So overall, the verdict for Monday is that yes, the fast, towards the like, end of the fast, it got a little hard. But overall, I don't feel like restricted or anything i think it's because like i'm letting myself kind of eat intuitively in this six hour window but yeah now i have a few assignments to do and stuff to finish so i'll see you guys tomorrow morning when it's time for the next day fasting begins now <laughs> hello guys so it is tuesday and it is currently about 1 40 p.m i didn't really feel much this morning because honestly like i was just laser focused working on an essay right now um i am hungry so today i am kind of really hungry so i was hungry since the morning but you know how when you're just like laser focused on a task to do and you're just like that was basically me this morning um me this morning yeah um well i'm so hungry that i can't even speak anyway it is almost time to break my fast well it is like time to break my fast anyway so I'm gonna head down and make some food. I'm thinking about a salad and maybe some fries. My dad said that he took away some dark fat fries and honestly, kind of into it. Let's go down. For my salad, I basically had a tomato and cucumber feta salad with some salmon. It was kind of good, like I said, intuitively eating. I was craving something healthy, something refreshing, and this was basically what I decided to eat. Anyway, so all of that came together was up to about 580 calories, that's including the fries. The salad and the salmon was super, super low carb. It's all together like 300 calories for lunch. That's okay. super low carb. I'm not saying that I'm starving, but I am pretty satisfied. I think the fries, that carb, um, kind of helped with that. The fries were a big one, 200 calories, 264, because I did have quite a bit. But yeah, now I'm having some <laughs> no sugar cook because I just need something like fizzy to pet me up. Um, I have a lot more to do with my assignments and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, start to work out. I'm probably going to get something to eat before I work out because um, <laughs> that was not nearly enough calories. 
to supplement me while I'm working out and then it's time for dinner. But yeah, um, I'm not going to film much today because I have quite a lot to do. But I will check back in with you when it's time for my next meal. And for a pre-workout meal, I decided to have a protein shake. So I decided on half a scoop of vanilla protein shake, half a frozen banana, and a cup of almond milk. For the protein powder, you can pretty much use any brand you like, vegan, non-vegan. They're pretty much almost all the same. <laughs> it tasted really, really good. Also, do you guys want me to take you along my workout routine? I didn't film it because honestly, it was just too embarrassed. Yeah, let me know if you guys want me to take you guys onto my workout routine and maybe I can do that next video or something like that. Okay, so I'm now in bed and I forgot to film dinner because yeah, I just forgot to film dinner But I honestly I just had like rice and curry chicken that my mom made. Yeah See you guys tomorrow. Sorry for the gloominess guys, but it is currently Wednesday and I have my black coffee and my lemon water right here um, Along with the fast I'm trying to hit my daily target of three liters water a day Which is why I have like this big bottle right here so I can just like sip on it as the day goes by Something interesting today. I'm just doing I'm just on YouTube really um, to play some music and do some work It's just gonna be a whole day of doing my assignments because I have so much to do to catch up on but that's fine so yeah nothing much to do today let's just get started <laughs> so for lunch on wednesday i decided to have a prawn salad i decided on like 150 grams of prawns and i just boiled them in some salt water um just put one tablespoon of salt to give it some flavor the rest of the salad i decided on some black beans some chickpeas and i've also decided on a little bit of diced tomatoes you also want to half the portions of these cans because they're quite a lot and then save the rest for some leftovers what you're going to do with your salad is you're going to cook the chickpeas and the black beans in your rice bran oil some flavor i decided to add about a tablespoon of chili peppers just to give that um, chickpeas a little bit of a kick this meal is so quick and easy to put together like under like 15 minutes and you just kind of plate it all up it tastes really good it's lots of fiber it's lots of protein and it's just a good way to get some like nutrients in I forgot to mention I added a little bit of greens to my plate you can do whatever you want you can put spinach I decided to on like a mixed salad from Mekisan and just to give it a little bit of color to make it look aesthetic and there we go guys, that's our meal. Also, you don't have to do this, you can eat the salads plain, but I also decided to eat mine with some corn chips to give it that Mexican kick. Okay, so that was a really filling lunch, like I'm so full. It also helped that I drank like a whole glass of, whole bottle of water with it. And roughly that all came up to around 600 to 700 calories, give or take. Like I said, intuitively eating. I know that that was a lot more than yesterday, but I was craving prawns and corn chips. <laughs> anyway, for my workout today, I'm probably just going to go for a really long walk with my dog. And then maybe one Chloe Ting video, but I'm keeping it chill today because... I don't know. You know that feeling when you just can't be bothered with anything today? But, yeah. Hello. So, for workout today, I'm going to take my dog for a walk. She's such a brat. Oh, my God. There she is. Want to go for a walk with me? Want to go for a walk? Yeah, she does. So, it's just going to be either a 30-minute walk or an hour's walk, depending on how terrible the weather is, because it does not, does not look good. But, hopefully, it holds up. Okay, so I just finished dinner, I just came back from my walk, I just finished working out. So all together, I ate about 1,300, 1,400 calories, dinner included. I'm having a little bit of chocolate because I always crave something sweet. Mm, mm, I'm so full, so mm, I shouldn't be eating, but I'm just craving chocolate. Oh my gosh, today was a really easy day. Like, I don't know whether I was just getting used to it or... I don't know, like, maybe it's because I woke up a little later than usual. But today I rarely felt hungry, and I felt hungry at the right time, obviously. But 
Monday and Tuesday was ridiculously hard because I was like hungry from the minute I woke up, like at nine. But today I was only hungry by the time like 12.30, by the time lunch rolled around. So today was ridiculously easy to do. Um, I think it's just a matter of getting used to. So yeah, I think it's pretty sustainable once you get into it, but the first few days were definitely. Anyway, I'm gonna go change, shower, and then do some work. Good morning, it is Thursday, and today is a pretty similar day. I'm just drinking my coffee, and it's currently like 1.24 p.m. And it's time to break my fast. Holy shit, my hair is so curly, but, and messy, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna go down, make food, and eat, pretty much. So for Thursday's lunch, I used up the leftovers from yesterday lunch. I fried together the remaining black beans and chickpeas with the diced tomatoes and add some salad, olives, and sun-dried tomatoes. This is kind of a vegan dish. Well, it is all vegan, and I was just feeling like a meat-free, dairy-free lunch today. Um, I'm going to be speeding through the meal today because it's pretty much the same thing, like, every single day. So for dinner, I just had some beef pho that my mom made and did my usual workout routine. All in all, this was a pretty okay day. I felt pretty good. I didn't feel that hungry. And yeah. So it is Friday. I'm in the mood for something unhealthy. But anyway, it's kind of at that halfway or slightly past halfway point and I've just weighed myself this morning and I haven't really exactly lost any weight. This could be because um, of the fact that my workout is not doubling in intensity and maybe I need to change that. But still, that being said, does intermittent fasting work alone? Well, as of the moment, nothing has really changed, but maybe it's because my body hasn't really taken time to adjust to the fact that I am eating within a six hour window. It hasn't done anything to change that. Or maybe intermittent fasting just doesn't make a difference to my weight at all. And that my body is just kind of like, so? And if that's the case, then why bother with this insane six hour window fast and just eat normally if it's not gonna do any changes to my body at all? And hopefully if we do see any changes, in the next few days and I weigh in again around next week Monday which is when I started my fast last week um, and see if there's actually any changes or any changes to my body I didn't measure my body yet because um, I kind of just want to wait for the surprise next week but hopefully but if it continues down the trend of like we don't see any difference then I don't see the point of intermittent fasting because my body didn't change. Why bother eat, like restrict myself to these windows when I should just eat normally, work out normally, and yeah. So the only proven method of like losing weight is actually like a calorie deficit and all this fat, like intermittent fasting doesn't actually work. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> so for Friday, I wanted something unhealthy, so I decided on Korean fire noodles with cheese, egg, and some pastrami. Honestly, this is a superior combo, mm. and if you say otherwise, fight me. Yeah, we're doing the fire noodle challenge. No, I just genuinely love these noodles. I know they're not exactly the healthiest <laughs> to break my fast with, but I don't care. I'm craving this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Dinner, I had a McDonald's Big Mac because we are the epitome of health here on this channel, obviously. But yeah, we're just craving something unhealthy. Like I said, cheat day today. It was Saturday, which means it's like the second to last day. I didn't film an outro for yesterday because honestly, like, it was pretty much the same thing. I just ate dinner, I ate a Big Mac. <laughs> it was unhealthy. Um, much needed cheat day. I was really, really craving like a Big Mac. But it is Saturday and I'm thinking of making maybe like a Caesar salad. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't know. All we have is like leftover. It's kind of just like a eat whatever is in the fridge kind of day. So. Let's go see what we can make. So for Saturday's lunch, I ended up chopping up some leftover mushrooms with some chicken breast and kind of fried it all together in some grapeseed oil. I seasoned it with salt, pepper, and some Sichuan peppercorns for a little kick. Then I added some salad, add some cheese, and pair up some toasted leftover croissant for like a poor man's crouton for a finishing touch. This ended up being one of the best meals I've ever had this week, and I would 10 out of 10 would eat it again. 
I have to be honest with you, that was probably the best meal I've made this week. Like, that salad, oof. It was pretty high in calories, though. It was, like, 722. I don't know, but I'm still, like, hungry. I think it's because, like, I had something unhealthy last yesterday, and that's why my body is, like, more used to having something denser. And now, like, all I had was the salad, so it wasn't that filling. But all is good because I haven't really drank a lot of water just today, so maybe that's also part of the reason. Also, I'm eating a cream puff that my mom made. It tastes better than it looks. Mmm some English breakfast tea. For dinner, I had my mom's beef noodles. It's safe to say that they were amazing. Hello, it is Sunday and it's the last day of the fast. I am just working on a few things for my uni assignments. I'm just writing an essay and it's currently 12.55. So that means that it's about 30 minutes towards the breaking of my fast. It is the last day. I am so excited for this to be over. I just want to eat breakfast again at a normal time. But for today's lunch, I'm thinking of making like a salmon with some sweet potatoes. So yeah, big salmon. Mm, but I kind of love raw salmon better. But does raw salmon really go as well with big, potato with big sweet potatoes? Let's find out. So I sliced my sweet potatoes into bite-sized pieces, drizzled them with some grapeseed oil, and seasoned with the salt and these, this Asian seaweed seasoning that's bomb as hell. To add some veggies to my plate, you can add whatever you like. That day I was feeling for a tomato and some leftover salad. Then I cut up my salmon and fried the skin and add this soy sauce um, mixture I made to give it more flavor. And that's pretty much it. Oh, so my sister made mozzarella sticks and I... The marinara sauce. Mmm. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh hell yeah. My hair is just acting up today, but the curls do look super good. Anyway, that was such a filling meal. Holy crap. Like, I even struggled to get the last few bites in, but you know, my family is like, don't ever waste food. Finish everything on your plate. So the good behaving Asian in me with like finish it sis um all together along with the mozzarella stick that came up to about 800 calories but it was a very well balanced meal like every fat carbs and protein equally almost all the same in terms of um micros and macros but I'm now drinking a cappuccino my dad bought for me, but I don't even know how I'm going to even drink this because I'm just so full. Like, I feel pregnant. So definitely going to go ham on the workout today. And after dinner, I'm going to go to sleep, and then tomorrow we're going to weigh in, and we're going to take a photo of how everything looks, and then do a side-by-side -side comparison. So for dinner that day, my mom made duck curry, and I just had that with some naan. It was so good. Monday. So it is judgment day and basically it is time to see whether this fast has been any or so like worth it <laughs> and basically see if there's been any changes to my body honestly i don't know what happened but i feel like the last night really flattened my butt belly let me show you like it is i don't know maybe it's just me but i feel like it's gotten a lot flatter definitely less bloated i feel a lot less bloated but let's go weigh myself, let's go measure myself, and then I'll show you guys if there's been any significant changes. So I actually gained weight instead of losing it in this challenge, but when I measure it, I've actually gone down quite a bit on my hips, didn't lose anything on my waist, and my arms kind of evened out by a centimeter, which is not a lot, but still. I didn't add this before, but my thighs went down quite a bit by about like two centimeters, I think, and my butt actually increased by three centimeters. So all in all, that was my experience with intermittent fasting. Um, I wasn't expecting to lose any weight. Um, I was kind of surprised because I gained weight, as you can tell from the scale. But I went down significantly in measurements, um, even though the scale didn't say that. Which means that I probably actually shed fat, fat and gained muscle, which is actually more of an indicator of how good my exercise routine is. Um, rather than the intermittent fasting. So do I think that the eating actually caused any difference? I don't know. What I do say though, that it's an increased benefit of intermittent fasting is that it really does help control your my binge eating episodes. By that I mean like I don't 
late night snack um because i have a tendency to do that i tend to eat like chocolate at like 9 p.m or 10 p.m it definitely does cut that out it definitely does help me get better control of my um bad habits when it comes to food would i recommend this experience to anyone i don't know try something at least one anyway i am hoping that you guys enjoyed this video comment like subscribe click the notification bell for more and I'll see you guys next time.